Hello everybody, my name is Titimba. Welcome to Luxury in Zanzi Cribs, a show that profiles some of the most luxurious properties in and around South Africa. I don't get to do it alone. I always have a friend to come through and tour with us. Damn, cool cat. This is crazy. I've had a window, eh? Nah. Because we're in the burbs. <laughs> I'm a cool cat. Grant, let's go in. Let's go in. Let's go in. So as you walk in, the first room you encounter is the dining area, which is not usual for most houses because yeah. normally you're walking into a lounge area. Yeah. So for me, this is quite an interesting dynamic, you know, you've got a whole kitchenette vibe going on there, which makes sense because imagine if you are hosting 12 people for dinner, you've got a, an area where they can actually, you can serve the food, you can warm the food up there, actually even wash your hands there. So yeah, this is lounge, uh, dining area um, number one. I think the, the most striking thing is obviously the staircase with the golden wall behind it. Yeah. But the chandelier there is, is... It's absolutely incredible. And you can see there's a mix of different textures there. It's got that whole brickwork vibe going and then the see-through windows to break and then it's got a whole artwork gallery vibe. Okay, so this is a, an eight-seater cinema. What I love about this is that it, it, it's even, you know, got enough space at the front for the kids. Yeah. So if you've got adults that are sitting here enjoying the movie, the kids can actually still enjoy themselves and play, have some, I don't think anyone eats here. You can see how clean it is. These recliners, obviously? Yeah, they all recline. Apparently he's a big James Bond <laughs> fan. So that's the story he told me because I said to him, why is this guy here? And he was like, nah, yeah, he's my favorite. It's like, okay, yeah. well, it's pretty cool. And as you can see the ceiling has got these starlights. So you actually feel like you're in a cinema. In the comfort of your home. That's what Luxury Dreams on the Cribs is actually about. This is beautiful. This yeah. is probably easily top three cinemas I've ever seen. Absolutely, I agree. I haven't seen anything like this in a while. So this is his home office and of course as you know everyone is working from home uh, these days because of COVID and geez what a comfortable space to work from. Worthy of the man that pays the bills. Absolutely. It's a good space. And you can see he's created a, a, a whole world for him, you know, that's outside the world that is home, you know. And I love the tiles, but also the, the textured wall. Yeah. I think, personally, this is my most favorite part of the house. Um, you can see he loves collecting his wines. And I'm not one to understand that wine world, but it's a lot of red wine. It's a lot of good wine too. I mean, yeah. you've got the Warwick there, yeah, which is a very good wine. Uh, yeah. Depending on how much it's aged, you've got the Mielas there as well. Yeah. Um, South African wines as well. Yeah. Very good wines. This is really such a striking feature of the house because whenever he's entertaining, even outside, you can't help but actually be drawn to this as a centerpiece of the house. And at night, it's even, even crazier. So this is a guest uh, cloakroom, which actually comes with a shower and a whole sauna. Uh, it's incredible. If you look at the tiling detail, he's got some Versace stuff happening here. Yeah, it looks like it's Versace yeah. embossed. Yeah, it's, it's a Versace embossed, and you can see, I mean, this can probably easily comfortably sit about five people inside, and it's supposed to be a guest cloakroom. So. Attention to detail has really been paid. I mean, he's, he's chosen different shades of black and gray and combined it in. Obviously, the lighting feature with the blue kind of pops. This would be lounge area number one. And I'm gonna keep counting and I'm hoping that I'm not gonna actually forget. Look at the detail of this mirror. As you yeah. look at it, it looks like, I don't know, it's got that whole 3D Filtered, yeah. So the reason I'm saying this is lounge area number one is obviously because it's got couches and everything else. But I actually asked him, what does he do here? And he never actually uses this for anything. This would actually be my favorite place in the house. It, it gives such beautiful perspective of, of yeah. 
the sound of the water from the fountains, the pool, yeah. the jacuzzi, but also just this, this view from here. Yeah. Is, I mean, you get, you get the view of the outside there as well. I, I like this. It's my favorite agree. space so far. I agree. So as we move on, this is entertainment lounge number two with a little chilling area, pool table. And it's such a vibe, man, because it's actually connected. Everything is, is connected. So you've got lounge area number one connected to entertainment area and obviously in, leading into the bar area. And what I like about this is it's got an, you know, an indoor braai Bright, bright area so when it, whether it rains or whether it's in winter it doesn't stop you from still entertaining bar areas are actually my favorite because that's where you can actually unwind and have a drink or two i enjoy this and it's got a wine cooler right there from here you still enjoy the view that you would have enjoyed from lounge area number one but here it's just that you can consume some beverages right next to the bar area is lounge area number two and, uh, and you can see here, you, you probably chills now and then and just watches some TV to I catch up on. I can assume this is the most used part of the home because I mean, you know what it is from the, the kitchen, kitchen absolutely. to the television. There. Absolutely. But what I like about this particular lounge area number two is that it's quite intimate. You can tell that this is a family lounge. I don't think he hosts people here. I think this is more for his friends because there's that open lounge area on the other side and the outdoor entertainment area. You've got your built-in gas fireplace right about here, which is attached to the kitchen. Different as well. So you've got your um, four-plate gas and two-plate electric stove. Quite a nice open-plan kitchen. Also, you get to enjoy the view whilst you're preparing the meals, you know. So I think this is also quite interesting, you know. Um, the reason why I say that's a lounge for the family and it's so intimate is because it's linked to the kitchen and that little dining area. No, it feels like this is private space. Yeah, this is the family space. Yeah. This is definitely the family space. And as you can see, that's an eight-seater dining area. Remember when we started off, we had a 12-seater on the other side. And you can see that is definitely designed for public consumption. And this side is for private consumption, I would imagine. But lovely, you know, centerpiece. So whilst you're preparing a meal, you can actually have some guests and have a conversation whilst you're busy with that. So this would be the first uh, bedroom that I'm exposing you to. This is the ground floor guest uh, bedroom. It comes with an ensuite shower. What do you think of this? The colors? I mean, I, th I think everything else that it comes with makes up for the space that it doesn't have. I get you. Do you know what I mean? I, I get mean. you. Because it does feel a bit tight. It does feel a bit tight, but there's so much in it that, yeah. you know, and also because of the uh, of the wall here, yeah. which you can fully open, Correct. it gives you that outside space and it doesn't feel so tight. But, yeah. you know, this, this, is a, this is a common standard size in many homes. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, Mvana, I think I've shown you everything on the ground floor. I'm now going to show you upstairs. Now, upstairs has got three different pieces. I'm going to start with piece number one or section number one. Okay, so this is bedroom number two, and it's upstairs. As you can see, it comes with a full and sweet bathroom. So that means shower, bath, double basin, everything. Two heads. Yeah, absolutely. Beautiful interior design, beautiful colors. See, so now I'm thinking to myself, I've got four kids. Yeah. And myself, so that's five bedrooms. In my head, I'm thinking, who takes what? Yeah, you're going to have a challenge with your kids. <laughs> Uh, but it's a nice challenge to have because if you look at all the bedrooms, um, they, they, they're fairly sized. Uh, but you can see it likes a lot of natural colors here. Different shades of natural. So this is bedroom number two, wooden flooring. This is wooden flooring. Yes. You're asking Elia on the other side. Okay, cool. So that's bedroom number two. I'm now showing you the pyjama lounge, which as I'm counting, you're going to have to help me as well, Andy. I can't remember. You know, with houses like this, I'm check out this chandelier vibe. It's so different. So there's different styles in this home. Correct. When you look at how glam you started with the... Yeah. And then once you and get to the goes family natural. side, it's a little bit calmer. Yeah. I like it. So this is lounge number, number four. Um, but upstairs here, we've got uh, three bedrooms and a lounge. I've already shown you bedroom number two, and I'm about to show you bedroom number three. This and is, this is for, for, for kids as well. That's what I was thinking. Your four kids have got their own private lounge and uh, their own bedrooms upstairs. So literally, they can have their own world without even knowing that. You could be hosting a full party. And they wouldn't even be affected by it. This is bedroom number three. 
And as we're going through these bedrooms, I think it also helps you to, in your mind, decide which of your kids would, <laughs> would ideally uh, uh, choose. Because I know you're in the process of actually looking at the moment, yeah. right? So this is actually a nice exercise for you, kind of seeing what's out there. It really is, but I mean, this, this is no, no scent or spade here. Yeah, absolutely. And, but it's in the detail as well. I mean, absolutely. look at all the pieces that have been put together. Yeah. So these are lovely. The wallpapers that were chosen as yeah, well. Absolutely. I mean, Very neutral home. Yeah, you can see all of the detail there. And this comes with an ensuite shower. Um, bedroom number two came with an ensuite bath and shower. So this one, definitely quick in and out for the kids. You don't want them wasting too much time and, and water. Neil, I think this is going to be one of your favorite for one of, one of the girls. Um, I mean, you got three girls, but I think this is the one that they're going to fight for, eh? Immediately goes to the workstation, yeah. which is important, the books. I'm yeah. all big on reading for my kids. Yeah. I absolutely love this, and it's got more personality that swings to girls. Yeah. So I love it. Do you think you would have two share this? Because there's two chairs for like homework exercises, do you think, or they would literally want to have their own bedrooms? Yeah, I mean, I think I think um, you have the girls have their own identities in their own bedrooms. Yeah. You know, sharing a working space maybe perhaps, but this is this is lovely. I like this. Yeah. I like this. So I just the, need more closet because my right. kids love clothes. Yeah. But I mean, there's. Oh, it's on both it's, sides. Yeah, it's on both sides. It's more than enough. And you've got an ensuite shower, just like uh, bedroom number three that you've just seen now. So, literally, this really is about convenient living. Okay, so I'm showing you section two upstairs, ne? And uh, this is where we're going to see his cigar lounge. You wouldn't know about this. What? This what? life here. What, 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 what this is you the rural life. Oh, this is a country. Do you remember when we went yes. on the trip to the eastern? Yes. Coast? This is a frame of what that was like. This fireplace feature seems to be in some of the key lounges upstairs. Uh, obviously, in preparation for winter season and all of that. But this is such an intimate lounge with views. Yeah, see through glass roof right there. But I just love the view. So, this is the one area that actually gives you the best view from here. You actually get to appreciate how beautiful the house is, you know. Everything is kind of interlinked. And you can see that it's a double stand. Mm. You can see how wide it, it is. All right, this is the last lounge, Andile. Lounge number six. This answers the question. Yeah. Where do your boys chill to watch TV? This is it. This is definitely it. It's far from Everything else, you can make as much noise with the boys. And it's, it's literally attached to that 12-seater uh, dining area. So literally after dinner or whatever meal you've had with the boys, you come up here, it's nice and warm. Again, that fireplace feature is, is so strong in this house. Um, and yeah, I guess this, this answers your, early, your question earlier. And uh, those are the six lounges, dude. There's one area I haven't shown you though, one room I haven't shown you. And I guess everyone wants to see the main bedroom. This is the main brother. Please close the door behind you, if you don't mind. Thank you, sir. So, as you can see, built in aircon system, built in sound system, uh, like opulence deluxe here, man. This is every homeowner's dream to have a beautiful bedroom like this lounge area that's separate um yeah welcome to paradise I've of stayed in some of the best hotels in the world and nothing this compares. is yeah this is this this is up there with them absolutely this is up there and i mean your walking closet feels like you're in some boutique shop it really feels like it you know i love the fact that he separated everything the clothes are on the other side and the bags and the fragrances and the belts have got their own island. Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Vuitton, everything. Chino. Everything. Everything luxury is right here. Literally. Literally, you feel like you're in some private boutique establishment of sorts. And of course, open to the element. Yep. Beautiful, eh? Peace of mind. Let me show you the ensuite bathroom. Jet bath. Welcome to paradise. This is where you get to bath, shower, see through 
glass roof right there, jet bath. You've got a dual shower system right there, so there's no excuses in terms of being late if you've got a partner. Um, you've got a dual basin system, you've got a jet with a jet bath with literally like a headrest. And on the other side, you've got a toilet. Don't you love how they've separated the, the feel of the tiling? It's got a whole vibe of waves. Yeah, waves, vibe, and then earthy vibe going. This is Absolutely the main. fantastic. This is the main. Worthy of a house like this. Absolutely. All right, I've got one last section to show you, which is the outside. And after that, I'd really like to get an idea from you of how much you think it's worth. Okay, Andile, this is the last section of the house. It's the outside section. And as you, know, you can see, there's a From hole. the many times I've been to your house, this would be the most used place if this was you. Yeah, absolutely. This is, besides that area, this is my second favorite because this is where you can chill. You can accommodate 20 people comfortably, as you can see. But what's nice is that not, not everyone wants to sit in this type of, you know, low area. You still have this dining a piece where people can literally sit and you can it's, it's connected that's what i love about it you know so you've got that you've got the infinity pool on the other side you've got a jacuzzi right there i'm sure you can see that and you know a place that would be a regular visit and occurrence to me the gym of course you're a health freak so you've got a beautiful gym area up, upstairs with all the machines that you can think of and i yeah. think for you that would be your most frequented area of the house um, beautiful garden uh, section, quite manicured, you know, there's not a lot of work here as you can see. It's got synthetic grass there on the other side and this is uh, probably one of my favorite luxury in Zanzi Cribs. Um, and thanks for touring this with me. No, thanks for showing me. Yeah, I mean, this is what it's about, you know, exposing the world to what South Africa has to offer. Um, so the last question I have for you is how much do you think this house is worth based on what you've seen? everything taken into account. Just give me a number, man. So <laughs> double stands already, you're paying double. Yeah. You know, it's immaculate finishes. Yeah. Incredible uh, detailing. Yeah. Exceptionally large. Um, 22 million. 22 million. 22 million. So this does qualify as an ultra luxury on the crib. By far, one yeah. of the best properties you'll see. 100%. All right. And furniture wise, what do you think would be the value? If you had to just. I'll put this, this house at 30 million. All inclusive. All inclusive. Wow. 30 million. You heard it from the man himself. I just want to take this opportunity to thank you for. You're not going to tell me? No, I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> You'll see it at the end of the show what the value of the house is. And this is what it's about, you know, getting people to actually start understanding what value is. And, um, you know, a house like this is really one of a kind. Um, and we're going to show you more of these kind of houses on the show, Luxury and Cribs, and I'll always bring a close friend of mine and get their opinion and that's what it's about. Thank you, brother. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much.